In this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to create a Discord bot that can interact with Instagram. We'll specifically be looking at how to get and display posts from various accounts or displaying posts from search queries. Before we begin, please note that I will be assuming you have Python installed already. You can watch a video about installing that here. Also, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. If you'd like to see some of my other projects, then please check out my social media. Or if you'd like to support me even further, then please check out my Patreon account or consider making a one-time donation on YouTube itself. It would very much be appreciated. But enough of that, let's get into the video. The first step is to create an application on the Discord developer portal. You can get to this page using this link, but I'll also leave it in the description. I need you to click on new application and then create one, but I already have one here, so I'll just be using this one. You want to go to bot first and then down here, make sure that message content intent is enabled. And also, we'll get to this token later, but just know that it is important. We then want to make the bot join the server so let's go to OAuth2 and then you want to click on bot and applications.commands. This will allow the bot to execute slash commands. And then I'm just going to give the bot to administrator just to make things easier. What this does is it generates a link at the very bottom of the page that you can use to make the bot join the server. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it into Chrome and then you have to select the server that you want the bot to be on. Now I do recommend creating a test server just to make sure the bot works before you actually use it on any real servers. I've already invited mine to test server, so I'm not going to do that again, but this is how you invite your bot to the server. And as you can see, the bot is in fact on the server. All right, I'm going to go back to the bot tab and I'm going to reset this token but yep there's a chance i have to enter my password so let me let me do that after that it will generate this token for you now it's really important that you keep this token private if anyone else has access to this token they'll be able to control your bot so don't share this token i'm only sharing mine because this is for demonstration i want you to copy this token and then i'm going to go to my desktop because i've created this folder where I'm going to store the entire project. Inside of this folder, I'm going to create a new text file. Make sure you have the extensions enabled, otherwise you won't see this .txt. I'm going to change the name to .env and then press enter. This .env file is basically going to store all of the sensitive information of our project. So like our Instagram password, our email and our Discord bot token because our application needs that information. So I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna open in VS Code. We're also gonna be writing all of our code inside of VS Code. So it's good to have that downloaded if you're following along exactly. I'm gonna call this Discord token. Let me zoom in. And then equals and then parentheses and then I'm gonna paste that token. Make sure you follow this exact format. So Discord token equals this. I mean, obviously you have to paste in your token, but the same format. And then I'm going to have Insta email, which I'm just going to leave empty for now. And Insta password, which I'm also going to leave empty. Now I really recommend for this bot that you go ahead and create a new email and a new Instagram account. Don't use your main account because there's a chance it could get banned. This is against Instagram's terms of service. So please don't use your main account. Go create a new one and then sign up for Instagram, and then come and paste your email here and your password here. I'm not gonna do that because I do have a spare account I'm gonna be using for this video, but you should go ahead and paste your email in these quotations and paste your password in these quotations. You can then click on this and then go to save. We can actually just open this entire folder. I don't know why I didn't do that. You can close this and then just drag the project folder that you made, and that should open the entire folder. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen too. So you'll see that .env is the exact same. And we can also add files, which is good because now I can create the Python file too. I'm going to be calling mine instabotdc.py. Make sure you have the .py, otherwise this won't be a Python file. This is where we're going to be writing all of the code. All right, before we can write any code, we have to actually download some stuff first. But don't worry, it's very simple. You can click this button at the bottom here and go to Terminal. We're just going to be typing some commands to download some libraries that we're going to be using. All right, so the first one, pip install python-env and then press enter. It's telling me I already have this. So 
don't worry if you don't get the same output as me. .env is basically just going to help us to load this .env file so that we can have access to those tokens I was talking about. The next one is discord.py. So go ahead and download that one. And the last one is instagr API. I'm just going to call it Instagram API. You can then click on this bin icon here. Now for some coding. The first step, as usual, would be to import all the libraries we'll be using. If you watch my previous Discord bot series, then a lot of this code will look familiar to you. These ones are for managing Discord. These ones are for managing our keys and tokens. And this one is for managing Instagram. What we'll do next is handle our keys and tokens. So we'll use .env for that. This will read the .env file we made earlier and store all this information. The next section of our code will set up Discord configurations as well as our bot. These intents are almost like permissions that our bot has and it will take the default configuration. Then we can set up our Instagram client and I'll use a try and accept block just in case the login fails. The interesting thing here is that right before you log in, you can actually connect to a proxy server so that Instagram is less likely to detect your account as a bot account. What I'm about to do is optional, but I'm going to drop in a single line that routes every Instagram request through a proxy. And that proxy comes from today's sponsor, Floppy Data. Floppy data gives you access to millions of IP addresses in over 195 locations worldwide, residential, mobile, or data center. So each account you automate can look like it's coming from its own real world device. You can choose rotating endpoints when you're scraping at scale or lock a static residential IP when you need a long lived session, all from one simple dashboard. Pricing starts at just 90 cents per gigabyte, which makes it the most affordable way I've found to stay anonymous, avoid suspicious login flags, and keep multiple accounts running smoothly. And it's not limited to Instagram. Plug the same floppy data URL into any scraper, browser, or automation script to tap the global IP pool and security layer. Make sure to click the link in the description to visit floppy data and thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I also just wanted to quickly show you guys how easy it is to set up and manage proxies. So this is what the dashboard looks like once you create an account. You can go to create proxy pool and then you can give it a name, the location, and then the rotation. And then once you've created one, it's going to show up on your dashboard here. And then to get that link that I was using for the Instagram bot, you can go to your proxy, just view proxies. And then down on this list, you can actually just copy here. That'll give you the full link to this proxy. When I run the bot now, the Instagram library always takes some time first, but eventually you'll see that the Instagram bot comes online, which means that it has successfully connected to the proxy and logged into Instagram. For the remainder of this video, however, I won't be using the proxy. I just wanted to show you that it's possible and how to do it. We now have the Instagram bot set up and ready to go, but what about the Discord bot? We'll make use of the on ready event and then just simply print out that the bot has come online. This bot.tree.sync part here in shows that commands for the bot will work. For the next part, we'll create a Discord command that retrieves the last n amount of posts from a certain profile that we specify. This will be a Discord slash command. So let's call this command insta last and give it a short description. After this, we'll also need to specify the parameters, which will be the Instagram username, as well as the amount of posts to fetch. Then we can finally define the function to run for this command. Inside of this function, we'll write await interaction dot response dot defer because this function might take a while to run. So this will prevent the function from stopping prematurely. I'll then paste a try and accept block that will just try to use the Instagram bot to retrieve the relevant posts on Instagram. And if that fails, just send a message on Discord saying that the bot had some trouble. Then we can check if that profile even has any posts in the first place because there's a chance they might not have anything. Then for the last step, we need to go through every post that the bot found and send a message on Discord. Now to do this, we'll be using embeds, which means we'll directly take the post from Instagram and display it on Discord. If you need an example of what an embed looks like, then I'll display one on the screen right now. This is what our bot will send on Discord. We first of all need to create the embed, and this can be quite a long process, so I'll create a function for it so that we can reuse that functionality. But for now, let's pretend that it already exists and that it's called create media embeds, and it will take the media as an argument. Then we can simply say for every embed, just send a message on Discord that contains the embed. That's it for this command, but remember, we still need to create that embed function otherwise this won't work. So let's do that. Let's go to the top here and create the function definition. Inside of this function, we need to get some information about the post first. So to get the caption, we can use this line of code. And to get the URL of the Instagram post, we can use this line of code. After this, we'll just create an empty list called embeds, which will be the final return value. If you've ever actually been on Instagram, then you'll know that some of the posts can contain multiple images, like those carousels or albums that you see. We're going to need a way to handle those. So let's test if our post is an album. 
problem. We can do this by checking if media type is 8 and if it has an attribute called resources. If this is the case, then we can iterate through each resource using a for loop and we can create a separate embed for each image in the carousel. You can change this if you want, of course, but this is what we'll be sticking with. After the for loop ends, we know that we've already managed the post, so we can go ahead and return the embeds. Outside of this if structure, we know that we're dealing with a post that consists of one image or video. So let's create the Discord embed object and then set the image or thumbnail of the embed to be the thumbnail of the Instagram post. After this, we can add a check to see if the post is a video, and if it is, then we can add a field to the embed to give them the link to the video. We can then add another field, which will be a link that takes us directly to the Instagram post. We can then add this embed to our embed list and return the list. Now that that's done, we should be set up to actually use the bot and the command we just made. So I'll be doing that next. Okay, so before I run the bot, we do actually need to paste this at the very bottom of our code. Otherwise, the Discord bot won't actually start up. But after you've pasted that, you can go ahead and run the file. And like I said, the Instagram bot does take a while. So don't worry, eventually it'll come online. Let's just give it a second. Okay, there we go. So Instagram's online and Discord's online. Okay, and then on Discord, you can see that this Instagram integration bot is online. So I'm going to do slash and then insta last. Now this is the command we've added, insta last, and we can specify a username. So if you want, you can put in your Instagram username, but I'm just going to put in mine. And then I'm going to get the, let's say the last three posts and then press enter. And then it's saying that the bot's going to think. So let's, let's actually see what it says. Okay. Okay, no, it did. There we go. So this is the embed that it creates. This is my latest post. And then these are the other two posts that it also gets. I do want to mention some things. I'm sure that a lot of you might want to automate the Instagram bot so that it keeps on sending every time a certain account posts, for example. I could do that. So let me know if you want to see a video like that. This video is more about how to integrate the two. Okay, and then one last thing I want to say. I did rerun the bot now, just real quick. Sometimes Instagram doesn't log you in and it asks for a token. So it'll ask for the token in the terminal here. You're going to have to go to your email and get that token. And then you're going to have to paste it into this terminal. And then one other thing, sometimes you do log into Instagram, but it doesn't allow you to search or interact with any posts. It'll say something about authentication required. When that happens, you have to manually log into your Instagram account and then click the button that says, I'm not a robot, those capture buttons. After that, you can close the tab. I'd recommend waiting a few minutes and then try rerunning the bot again. But yeah, I'm going to go and kill the terminal now. What I'll do now is add another command for our Discord bot. And this one will be super similar to our previous command. So I'll paste the entire command here so that you can see for yourself. You should notice that the only difference is the actual command name, description, and all of this information about the command, as well as the way we actually search for the Instagram posts. Other than those things, this command is exactly the same as the previous command. Feel free to add more commands if you'd like, or leave down suggestions for me in the comments if you would like to see other types of commands and I'll consider making a video about it. If you'd like to learn more about Discord bots then you're welcome to check out my full Discord bot series here on YouTube. Other than that that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and found it helpful. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. If you'd like to see some of my other projects then please check out my social media or if you'd like to support me even further then please check out my Patreon account or consider making a one-time donation on YouTube itself. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next next video.